Welcome everybody to another Geometry Dash tutorial. In this one, this one's gonna be very specific. We're gonna be making a full platformer level. That platformer level is gonna be super duper cool and also feature worthy so that you guys can get yourself these sweet creator points up here on your profile. So make sure you watch this all the way from the beginning until the end so you, that you don't miss anything from beginning all the way to the end and as you guys can see this is going to be the final result we're going to do everything and you guys are going to enjoy and you guys are going to see exactly how all of these things are done and how you guys can also do exactly like it so this episode is going to be specifically for designing the layout of this level because it's very important if you want to have a fun platformer level that you start with a cool design for the layout. So let's just get straight into it. And there we go. Okay, so I have a template that I want to use and that template is called the pixel tower. And if we use it and we do this, you guys are going to see that uh, we create and it looks pretty cool, but the colors are wrong. So I'm going to just go ahead and, uh, you know, adjust the colors going to make this one red this one is going to be black that one is of course going to be blending something like this and you guys can see that it already looks pretty cool so you're going to start in sort of like a dungeon or something like that and it's going to be pretty dark so something like this that looks pretty cool so i want to firstly start by making the layout because that was just a way for me to see how i want to change the colors so we're going to start so, so i don't have like any preparation for this i'm going in like all like i I just opened the level, opened the recorder and decided let's just do X, Y, and Z. So you're going to start here and it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be a room. And then I would say, let's just make bro come out of here. And we're going to have some pretty interesting gimmicks because if we don't, this is not going to be cool. <laughs> That's what I know from the rating system. Okay, so I think the blocks that we already have are going to look extremely good when we add lava. I'm going to teach you guys how we to do that as well. Also, everything is going to be like a tutorial as well so i want to have like these rotating blocks here that's gonna be pretty cool i'm gonna rotate them i have a tutorial on that too and i want to make it not the easiest but also not the hard it's gonna be like a four star or something so let's do something like this this is just purely the layout only so i'm gonna do something like this and uh, i want him i want him to somehow go up here so let me think so i'm just gonna add like a you know like a like an elevator that goes up constantly and i think that's it's gonna be pretty cool and it's gonna go up so somehow we're gonna be able to like enter the small room in here which is gonna have a blue coin we're gonna add coins as well in here is dead you cannot go there but uh, yeah i think that's pretty cool it's gonna be kind of hidden in here so that's pretty nice uh, i'm gonna go ahead and make this a stair like so, so that looks pretty good and uh, i had another idea that okay so first of all i'm just gonna go ahead and make this actually like that just so that i can see see what I planned with this so something like that and then what I'm thinking of is how about we add a key that you're gonna collect something not too crazy but it's gonna be pretty simple so a key right here and it's not gonna be exactly right there it's gonna be a bit more challenging to get the key and that key will basically open up a door that's gonna lead to a tower because towers are always pretty cool so we're gonna do something like this but you guys if you took a, a look at the time you're are gonna see that i actually did think for a bit for that idea until i came up with it and i finally did which is pretty cool so in here we're gonna make you leave off on the left of course because uh, you know you always leave on the leave on the right so this time it's gonna be different so something like this and this is like basically the absolute raw layout of it and there's gonna be a lot of spikes and stuff uh, in between so in here how about we just have like some saw blades right there not too unique i think so we're gonna definitely have to add some something that is at least super unique okay so i already got an idea so i'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of buttons in here that are gonna basically move something up down left and right and depending on what you do you're gonna get the key or not so we're gonna see so the key is gonna be like in here in like a cage and you're gonna have to do something i'm not too sure exactly what it's going to be but you're gonna basically move this into the correct area and that's 
just gonna basically unlock this key. And in here, what do we wanna have in here? So I like to always keep a bit of distance in here just to make it look a bit more open. So something like that. In here we have another special spot, which I think I'm just gonna have like random stuff on it, just for coins perhaps. And I think this already does not look bad. And in here what I wanna do is just go ahead and extend this a bit so that I can bring this back and uh, we're gonna have like a falling tower like this because this is gonna be very lava-ish on the bottom which I think is gonna look pretty cool so yeah so falling in here is a disaster and as soon as you leave here there's gonna be a bunch of these guys so the reason why I added this unique system in here so that the people who play it for the first time are gonna see okay that's actually a pretty cool level let me just continue playing it so I'm thinking what trigger can I use to make for some really cool things okay so I got an, a cool idea in here I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be but the idea is already there so I'm gonna add this and what I want to do is it's gonna be like a it's gonna loop back to the beginning it's not gonna be a long level because we're, we're not gonna have too much time so we're gonna have spikes in here you gotta be careful because if they fall then they're gonna basically like stay down there so you really have to think this through before you actually commit onto whether you want to go onto one or not so what if we go like to here there's going to be like a key in here or something just like you know, a small room in here but you want to make sure that you don't actually touch that many spikes and there's going to be some random you know how about we add like yeah 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 so we can do something like this which always looks cool something like that that basically just rotates around to make sure that you can't just go through it you have to actually wait and see when is the perfect time to jump and there's the second key right here is going to open up this door and then i'm gonna have something like a something like this that's gonna be pure black and i'm already decorating i can see that but uh, i want it to be something like this that once you basically touch it's gonna give you like a big boost right there it's gonna be a pad of course and it's gonna look cool at the end don't worry so something like this and in between of course there's gonna be actually you don't not we don't want any lava anymore because lava is just on the bottom okay so i can see that we're gonna select everything do this so that there is more space on the left because this is where i'm gonna i want the ending to be so you start here you do this uh, you know full cycle and then you come back which i think is always pretty nice so jump on top of this guy there's gonna be like a big decorated saw blade and i think that's a tiny bit too much but we're gonna see so i don't know what the gameplay looks like now but this is just a like a, a raw a raw thing nothing really final okay so in here we're gonna have a platform that you're gonna be able to land on and this is gonna be like the pit of death it's not gonna have too many colors but uh, i think something like that looks pretty nice so how do we make bro fall down okay so i got an idea we're gonna have a platform that's basically gonna start falling down as soon as you trigger a switch from here something like that and there's gonna be the switch in here so you switch it and then this thing is gonna start going down slowly and there we go we have this and this is where you started so let me see i want to make this sort of like that and uh, what is this room gonna have let's just give it a try and see how about we do like a tiny boss fight like a very small one so this guy is gonna start shooting stuff at you and now i think it makes more sense to have it like this so there's gonna be like a small boss fight that once you beat the final door will unlock and you're gonna go into the end the reason why i'm adding a boss fight is it just makes the level a bit longer and also boss fights are always pretty 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 cool so where's the door finding things in here is an absolute nightmare might be even faster to just go to rob tops levels and just copy it from there not gonna lie but i might actually do that but we're gonna see okay so let's just get into decorating this so i'm just gonna go ahead and bring this onto a new layer which now i think i made a mistake already because i changed the main layer right and with that you guys have made your layout fully for your platformer level now click here to watch the next episode or you can even click here to watch the whole thing from beginning to end i will see you guys over there don't forget to like and also subscribe